Uh, Taylor Swift, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, a punching bag by some, not to be specified, just some people on the right. There's a, a, an article about her today um, in, uh, anyway, in, 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 uh, in uh, Newsweek um, that is um, uh, questioning, questioning. Uh, uh, this is the title. Taylor Swift is not, I guess it's not questioning, it's stating Taylor Swift is not a good role model. Not a good role model. Some people on the right claim. That's not in the title. That's what I'm saying. Because the author is obviously from the right. Uh, he, God, this article will not stand still. It's like it's got moving parts to it. Let's see if I can get this right. All right, there we go. At 34, I'm greeting from the article. Swift remains unmarried and childless. This is after he's gone over all her achievements and successes and how, you know, so on. She remains unmarried and childless. A fact that some might argue is irrelevant to status as a role model, but I suggest is crucial to consider what kind of example this sets for young girls. A role model, by definition, is someone worthy of imitation. While Swift's musical talent and business acumen are certainly admirable, even laudable, we must ask if her personal life choices are ones we want our sisters and daughters to emulate. This might sound like poor clutching preaching, but it's a concern rooted in sound reasoning, he declares about himself. That's good to know that he's a sound reasoner. So she's not married. She's 34. She has no kids. By definition, some on the right would tell us that she cannot be a, a role model because women, what are they supposed to do? You, women out there, you're supposed to be married as, 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 as soon as possible, really. Ideally, I think, I think some, maybe those uh, who are harking back to uh, 1220, uh, would like to see you married at maybe 14, 16, certainly 18, uh, so you can have as many kids as possible. Uh, he continues, Swift's highly publicized romantic life has been a source of prime tabloid fodder for years. She's dated numerous high-profile men, at least a dozen, including singers Harry Styles and Joe Jonas, the actor Jack Gyllenhaal, and recently American football player Travis Kelsey. This revolving door of relationship may reflect the normal dating experience of many young women in today's world. But it also raises questions about stability, commitment, and even love itself. Should we encourage young girls to see the swift standard as the norm, something to aspire to? Or should we be promoting something a little more, shall we say, wholesome? Uh, would any loving parent reading this want their daughter to date 12 different men in the span of just a few years? This is not an attack on Swift. It's a valid question that is worth asking. <laughs> really. <laughs> um, can, I, can I chime in here as a parent? Not of a, I don't have a daughter. But um, I, I'll just say, I have no problem with my daughter dating 12 different men. I, I'd actually like her to date a number of different men before she got married. So she, she knew what was available and what was out there and uh, who she was compatible with. Uh, unless she fell in love with somebody very quickly and right off the bat, um, which would be great as well. But... Uh, dating for a while, dating different men, and then discovering who you love, isn't that better? Isn't that better? I mean, I know, I'm not a conservative. So um, uh, this is very a, a very conservative attitude. Now, not some conservative, not all conservatives, although my guess is all conservatives. Uh, so... Um, what's the problem? What's the problem? She's not married. She doesn't have kids. Is there a date by which we want them to marry? I mean, is kids a requirement now of, 
uh, of being a role model. You have to have kids. All women have to have kids. I mean, it's an option, a good one. I had kids. God. Now we get maybe to the crux of it. The superstar's vocal criticisms of the patriarchy adds another layer of complexity. Swift's recent rallying cry against patriarchal structures stands in stark contrast to her personal dating choices. The singer often dates strong, influential men, celebrities who embody significant social and economic power. God, this is so dishonest. Isn't it true, though, that Taylor Swift is richer than any of these men? Isn't it true that she is as successful as any of these men? Isn't the whole idea of the patriarchy a strong man and a weak woman, a strong man and a woman who is not independently wealthy, is not independently career-oriented? Career I mean, are we accusing Taylor Swift of being part of the patriarchy because she dates strong men, even though she's this incredibly successful, rich, I, I just strong woman? I mean, the level of argumentation, the, the, the attitude is so absurd. Uh, you, you know, he says this can appear hypocritical. Hypocrisy fundamentally undermines the ability to be a good role model because it involves a contradiction. But there is no contradiction here between one's actions and the principles and values to publicly advocate. Swift neither doesn't realize this nor doesn't care. Neither of the two is a good look. Ah, God. So, um... What do we do? What's our valuation of Taylor Swift? I mean, she might, quote, influence young women to adopt a similar perspective in their own relationships, be they romantic or otherwise. I mean, uh, yeah, Swift is not a victim. He, she's not, and she doesn't portray that. Isn't that a good thing? Swift's numerous high-profile relationships, while private matters are constantly in the public eye, new romance becomes media frenzied. Da 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 da. -da. Is this is 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 this guy obsessed about the amount of sex that Swift is having? Is that it? He quote: "What young girls truly need, perhaps without recognizing it, are role models who provide both authenticity." and actual depth, rather than artificial narratives and superficial glamour. I wonder what he has in mind. Maybe one of those wives in one of those 1950s TV shows that have, like, jo uh, like Walsh's uh, wife, dinner is always waiting for them when they come home from work, and it's, yes, sir, whatever, th whatever the man wants, he is supported, uh, they, they raise the children well, and uh, they don't, they, they don't, you know, maybe they were virgins on the wedding night. And that, that, June Cleaver is the model of today's, some people, some people, only some people on the right. Uh, it's, um, wow. I mean, yes, this is the conservatism. This is the uh, medievalist mentality that I oppose, that I think is destructive to this country, that I think is poisoning what's left of the Republican Party, uh, and that I think is unbelievably offensive and disgusting and awful, and that I am here to point out and reveal and talk about uh, and, um, and everything else. Jennifer says she wore high heels in the kitchen. Well, of course she did. She's supposed to be sexy and provide sex on demand, and she's supposed to be all that as well. She's, you know, it's like, it's like a mother and a wife, wife as a cleaner, you know, a, a cook and 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 sexual object. I mean, w w doesn't everybody wear high heels in the kitchen? I mean, w w what else would you wear? Adam says, trad wife is the term, trad wife. 
Don't you all want trad wives? <laughs> my wife would kill me. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, Richard said, in vacuumed wearing pools. Um, anyway, there you have it. Uh, more of the... Uh, of the trad cons uh, and their influence in the world out there, which is quite immense, non-trivial, uh, and um, sad, 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 sad. <laughs>